the original meaning of telemeter, and still one of the main uses of the word, was a device used to measure distances to remote objects, that is, a rangefinder. Originally optical devices used in surveying, they soon found military applications in rangefinding, especially naval gunnery. More generally, a telemeter is a device used to remotely measure any quantity. It consists of a sensor, a transmission path, and a display, recording, or control device. Telemeters are the physical devices used in telemetry. Electronic devices are widely used in telemetry and can be wireless or hardwired, analog or digital. Other technologies are also possible, such as mechanical, hydraulic and optical. History the first rangefinder telemeter was invented by James Watt in 1769 and put to use in 1771 in surveying canals. Watt called his instrument a micrometer, a term now used with a different meaning in engineering. It consisted of two parallel hairs in the focal plane of a telescope eyepiece crossing an upright hair. At the point to be measured, two sliding targets on a surveyor's rod were adjusted to align with the hairs in the telescope. The distance to the rod could then be determined from the distance between the targets on the rod by trigonometry. Several others have been credited with the invention of the rangefinder telemeter at one time or another. The Royal Society of Arts gave an award to W. Green for its invention in 1778, even though they were made aware of Watt's priority. Alexander Selig is often mistakenly credited with the invention. Selig did invent a telemeter in 1821 and is responsible for coining the term. In 1781 Georg Friedrich Brander invented the coincidence telemeter. Two mirrors set a distance apart horizontally and forming two images in the same eyepiece. This rangefinder does not require a measuring rod at the target and could perhaps be considered the first true telemeter. In 1790 Jesse Ramsden invented a half-image rangefinder. In 1899 Karl Pulfrick at Karl Zeiss AG invented the stereo telemeter. Many authors placed the beginning of telemeters in the steam age, although they were not called such at the time. Examples of these are James Watt's additions to his steam engines of the mercury pressure gauge and the fly ball governor. By the late 19th century the term had been thoroughly hijacked by electrical engineers applying it to electrically operated devices measuring many other quantities besides distance. These included such sensors as the thermocouple, the resistance thermometer, and the electrical strain gauge and output devices such as Samuel Morse's telegraph sounder and the relay. In 1889 this led the Institution of Civil Engineers to suggest that the term for a rangefinder be replaced with tachometer. In the 1930s use of electrical telemeters grew rapidly. The electrical strain gauge was widely used in rocket and aviation research and the radio sonde was invented for meteorological measurements. The advent of World War II gave an impetus to industrial development and henceforth many of these telemeters became commercially viable. Carrying on from rocket research, radio telemetry was used routinely as space exploration got underway. Spacecraft are in a place where a physical connection is not possible leaving radio or other electromagnetic waves as the only viable option for telemetry. During manned space missions it is used to monitor not only parameters of the vehicle, but also the health and life support of the astronauts. During the Cold War telemetry found users in espionage. U.S. intelligence found that they could monitor the telemetry from Soviet missile tests by building a telemeter of their own to intercept the radio signals and hence learn a great deal about Soviet capabilities. Range finding. In military parlance telemeter has the specific meaning of a device for finding the range of a target. It is also used with the meaning range finder in other fields such as photography. World War II era telemeters worked optically with two telescopes focused on the same target but a distance apart along a baseline. The range to the target is found by measuring the difference in bearing of the two telescopes and solving the skinny triangle. Solutions can be obtained automatically, using tables or, rarely, manual calculation. The greater the distance to the target, the longer the baseline needs to be for accurate measurement. The baseline required for the telemeters for battleship guns is very large. More modern telemeters use an electronic technology such as lasers or radar. Telemeter chronograph, the telemeter chronograph is a feature of a wristwatch, 
which allows the user to approximately measure the distance to an event that can be both seen and heard using the speed of sound. The user starts the chronograph at the instant the event is seen, and stops timing at the instant the event is heard. The seconds hand will point to the distance measured on a scale, usually around the edge of the face. The scale can be defined in any unit of distance, but miles or kilometers are most practical and commonplace. See also, Georg Friedrich Brander on German Wikipedia. References Bibliography, H. W. Dickinson, James Watt, Craftsman and Engineer, Cambridge University Press, 2010 ISBN 1108012023X, Fritz Doom Leitch, Surveying Instruments, Walter de Guita. 1982 ISBN 3110077655. Brian Kopp, Industrial Telemetry, in Telemetry Systems Engineering, pages 493 to 524, Artec House, 2002 ISBN 1580532578. K.A. Bakshai A.V. Bakshai U.A. Bakshai, Electronic Measurements. Technical Publications, 2008 ISBN 8184313918. Richard Shelton Kirby, Engineering in History, Courier Dover Publications, 1990 ISBN 0486264122. Donald Mackenzie, The Soviet Union and Strategic Missile Guidance, in Soviet Military Policy, an International Security Reader, MIT Press. 1989 ISBN 0262620669. Sunny Tsinau, Read You Loud and Clear, The Story of NASA's Space Flight Tracking and Data Network, Government Printing Office, 2008 ISBN 0160801915.